you know, sometimes I have to kind of change things around or maybe make some recipes that I don't usually make or would normally make. Uh, but a lot of people find my page searching for recipes that involve Jim Beam's apple. And although Jim Beam apple is not something I would typically buy, I think Crown Royal makes an apple whiskey that's, uh, although a little more expensive, definitely worth the extra money. Uh, Jim Beam Apple gets a fair amount of search results and actually got a good deal on this at the liquor store, so I figured why not try this out? And it's actually not too bad. Um, it's very, kind of a very sour apple type flavor and in a very, very sour apple smell. It almost reminds me of like a sour apple pucker in the smell department. So I decided to take a couple recipes with Jim Beam apple and these are recipes that maybe called for something else, a different type of apple liqueur and I used this Jim Beam instead just to see how it worked out. So this one is called the Forbidden Fruit. Typically the recipe uh, called for an apple pucker mixed with a bourbon. We're just going to use our Jim Beam apple. I have peach schnapps that's going to be used for the re this recipe. And I have a homemade sour mix here. You want to find out my recipe to make that. I'll link to it in the description below. There's a video on that already posted. So, this drink's really simple. Only uses a couple ingredients. Uh, no need for a shaker. We're just going to take a short glass and I'm going to fill it up with some ice. Once you have your short glass filled with ice, we're going to start off with our Jim Beam. And we're going to put two ounces of this into our glass. So I have my two ounces. Start with that. Follow that up with one ounce of peach schnapps. And once we have our liquor thrown in there, we're going to finish this off with one ounce of the homemade sour mix. If you don't have a homemade sour mix, you can use a half ounce of simple syrup and a half ounce of lemon juice. It should give you a pretty similar result. Now that everything's in there, just want to give it a nice gentle stir. You don't have to get really fancy with this. Uh, it's not really, the recipe calls for a gentle stir, not a real aggressive stir, just to cool it down. So this is how you make the forbidden fruit. Now, like I said, the original recipe actually called for a sour apple schnapps and a bourbon, a straight bourbon, and we're just using actually the Jim Beam apple in place of the bourbon and apple schnapps. So thanks for watching this Idiot's Liquor. I am Eric, your drink idiot. And today, I made the Forbidden Fruit with Jim Beam Apple. You can use uh, the Crown Royal Apple if you'd like as well. I think that would turn out really good as well with this drink. If you want to see even more recipes, not just these kind of recipes, but a bunch of other liquors that I've made, check out the channel. Give it a subscribe if you want to get updates about when I post new videos as well. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, it's okay to drink like an idiot.